Hi guys, it's Project Zero. I want to do a review on a Christmas present I bought for myself, which is the uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 40. It is an airsoft gun. Now, uh, I know many of you are probably thinking that don't use airsoft is that it's a uh, plastic one, but uh, it is built very sturdy. Uh, I bet you a bunch of you didn't know that a lot of guns are made out of plastic. Real ones. Uh, not, you know, cheap, you know, everyday plastic. This is more safety plastic. It can take a lot. It can take a good impact without it really breaking. But, um, anyways, the insides are mostly metal. Uh, the outer barrel on the inside, the black part that you see, is uh, plastic, but the inside of it is metal. Uh, it's pretty much got to be or it's going to shatter. Now, uh, it was posted at 80 joule, or 0.8 joules, or 0.80. If you want to get technical, it's the same goddamn thing either way. And, uh, what was it, um, I think over 300 feet per second. And I went and picked this up at Dick's Sporting Goods over in uh, Henrietta earlier today because we had Christmas and nobody had a lot of money but nobody knew what to give me so they just gave me money here and there and uh, I figured I had one of these when I was a kid or well my dad did honestly and um, at some point it disappeared and I figured you know I could do that and get an upgrade because his was cheap but I wanted something a little bit more with more oomph to it so I got this one and it's got a uh, full metal magazine and it is just about the size of a real life magazine. It is extended from a real magazine because it is part of the barrel. Um, about where this line right here is, is where the real magazine would probably have been cut off. But uh, either way, it comes with a very large Allen wrench. I don't know which size it is, but on the very bottom, you can see that little hole. You put the Allen wrench in, you unscrew it, and uh, you put your cylinders in which are 12 ounce or excuse me 12 gram co2 cylinders that they just go slide underneath you uh, screw it in and it's nice that they gave you a metal allen wrench rather than uh, some place where you need a screwdriver because you can really grip on and once it pierces the uh, top uh, it's going to give you a lot of force behind it unfortunately when i got mine it was broken it uh, had a leak. I mean, it's not. It was, it's not really broken. More that uh, the washer wasn't airtight. I mean, it's. It, it was not probably on the shelf for a long time. I could. I saw that it was a return, and it was repackaged. So, I actually got a discount on it, which was nice. So, uh, once you get it in there, it's uh, 250 rounds per air canister. Which is nice. It's nice and big seeing that uh, to get a case of five of them is six bucks. Uh, you have your uh, magazine release. Unfortunately, these two don't do anything. It is a non-blowback gun. Uh, which is actually good. A lot of people are disappointed in that. But um, honestly, it's a good thing when you really think about it. Because why would you want a plastic blowback gun? Because the more moving parts it has, the more likely it's going to break out while you're playing, while you're practicing, that kind of stuff. But um, there is a safety switch here, which when you pull it down, it uh, make, renders the uh, trigger useless. It'll still pull back, it will still actually uh, pull BBs out of the magazine, but the hammer won't go back and hit the uh, air to launch them. So basically you'll have them running out of your barrel later on. Now, back here is a little butt or button that um, the hammer inside here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It hits, it does a small burst of air, launches it through the tube, and um, it goes really fast. Because uh, when I got it, like I said, it was broken. I didn't know it was broken until I got it. And it was just a magazine. The magazines cost 25 bucks to replace. It's honestly not bad. I found them online very cheap. And they're still all metal. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention it holds 15 BBs. And uh, 
it looked like it was giving a little pressure, so naturally I pointed at my hand and shot, you know, what damage could that do? It hurt like hell. Uh, it really does mean 80 joules. That was a lot of force behind it. I mean, it had more force than my paintball gun, which is a full 24-ounce CO2 can attached to it. Going full velocity didn't hurt as much as this thing did. So, um, if you plan on using it uh, for airsoft wars, that kind of stuff, go out for uh, the competition. This definitely has a kick that you want with your rifle, your shotgun, that kind of thing. It's nice. It's only 15 rounds, so this is more of a secondary thing. Close range attacks only. Uh, just because, I mean, unless you go out and buy multiple clips, you just have the one. That's 15 rounds. It's really heavy to carry around, too. It's about a pound, pound and a half, maybe two at most with the air canister in there, of just solid metal. So, I wouldn't recommend having any more than maybe two or three clips in your pocket at once, or, you know, it's just going to slow you down. You can if you're mainly a pistol kind of person. But either way, all in all, it's a very nice gun. I give it a 9 out of 10. I don't give it a perfect 10 just because it is plastic framed. Um, <clears throat> but uh, in New York State, it is very understandable because uh, we did have a... We, have a weapons problem. Uh, we've had weapons problems in the past, uh, so all airsoft guns are required to be clear. I haven't seen a solid one in probably 10 years. They used to make them. Daisy used to make solid metal guns for airsoft. I haven't seen one since, so I'm assuming. I I mean, you can you don't quote me on this one, but I. Uh, at this point, I figure they're just illegal to be all metal. So, I'm not going to hold that against them. Because you can buy it all metal. If you go to the website, you can buy it all metal. Still non-blowback, but it is all... It's completely gun metal. Now, um... The other thing was, when I bought it, it was broken. But I'm not going to hold that against the gun itself. It was honestly a matter of tightening the spring on the inside of the magazine. Um... It does have a nice design. It, it looks and feels like it was modeled after the actual gun that it went through a die press the same way. They only had to um, make an uh, alteration on where the uh, the chamber opening is, where they just have the impression, but they closed it off. Like I said, it is non-blowback, so the slide doesn't move, but I don't understand it because there is a spring here for the blowback, uh, it does have a track that it can run along, and when you tug on it, it does move a little bit, not a lot, but uh, it's something. So I wonder if it used to be blowback, and they just said that, you know, hey, don't do that anymore. Kids are taking off the uh, orange flares, and they look like real guns going off. So um, I think, uh, honestly, it's all for safety-intensive purposes, which is a good thing. And it also has a, a pinnacle rail. It's only a uh, three-notch rail, but um, you can mount a laser, a light. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Possibly a handle, but um, I don't see where you'd actually use the handle unless you want more accurate. If you are a close combat kind of person, it might be tactically better to use it that way. But uh, I don't see the uh, practical purpose of seeing this is not an automatic gun. It's only semi-automatic. Well, yeah, semi-automatic because you have to load the magazine in. So, um, definitely a buy. It was 50 bucks for me over at Dick's. <clears throat> you can find them in most stores now <coughs> for about the same price. I was watching a couple reviews earlier on it. I actually... For once when I bought an item, I did not look at a review first because I didn't know I was going to buy it. I was looking for a solid metal gun, and I happened to find this one along with a couple other ones, and I just bought it with uh, five air canisters and went along with it, and I'm happy about it. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope to make some more videos. Uh, please suggest more airsoft guns. I'm looking for revolvers that uh, I can spin and click in, uh, mainly for a costume. So thanks for watching.